let's try to learn a little bit more about pattern matching and let us have a look at this example now the square brackets means that this is a list and i would be covering more about list a little later in the series but for now let us just go with the flow for now i don't want you to concentrate on the syntax i want you to concentrate just on the right hand side and the left hand side can you see that the pattern on the right is the same as the pattern on the left we have two variables on the left hand side we have two values on the right hand side here you can say that the value of 1 is now bound to the variable of a now the next variable is also a and the value inside a is also 1 and that's what it is so this is going to be true inside elixir for a quick demo let me open up my terminal and uh, I'm already inside IEX. In case if you have forgotten how to go inside IEX, let me show you once again. For quitting IEX, just press Ctrl C twice and you can quit the IEX. And again, if you want to go inside, just type as IE and X. Again, let me clear it up. So here I can say that my list has two variables A and A and the values are one and one so here it is it's a perfect match the right hand side is equal to the left hand side so we get the values back if i just say i want to see the value of a and here it is we get the value of a as one now let us go back now can we guess what is going to happen this time now this time you can see that we have the values of a and a and on the right we have the value of 1 and 2 well let us go to our iex and see what's going to happen this time so we have this a and a and on the right we have 1 and 2 let us see what's going to happen oh we get an error and if you watch closely we get an error saying that no match of the right hand side and yes it is not a match the reason is the value of 1 is bound to the variable of a and again the second value is a but this time the value inside a is 1 and on the right the value is 2 so 2 is not equal to 1 and that's why the right hand side and the left hand side are not a match and that's why we get an error let us go back now what happens if we write something like this if we switch the second value from a to a new variable of b can you guess what is going to happen well let us go back and let us see what's going to happen this time so here let me change the value from a to b and let us see well yes it's a perfect match so what's happening this time the value of 1 is bound to the variable of a and the value of 2 is bound to the variable of b we can check it out so if i say a then we get the value of 1 and if i say b we get the value of 2 and that's what it is right over here always try and think in terms of pattern matching that means we always want to have the right hand side equal to our left hand side so this is also called as pattern matching and as I have said earlier, this is a very powerful pattern inside Elixir and we would be using this pattern matching throughout this entire tutorial series.